Welcome back. Great to have you with us here on WKYT on this beautiful day. Well, it is a prom for moms, a girls only event that is filled with dinner, dancing, and more. Yeah, Rhonda May joins us now. She's the development director at All God's Children. She's here to tell us about the mom prom. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining well, us. Well, thank you for Dressed having up, ready me. to go, she aren't you? Ready. I did <laughs> wore my lay to sport the whole theme of the evening. Well, Pretty uh, in pink. Uh, tell us about, uh, first of all, All God's Children, what, what the program does. Well, we are a residential treatment facility for pregnant and parenting teen moms. Um, these young ladies have went through abuse and neglect and now they're placed with us to help kind of teach them how to be um, a self-sufficient mom, single parent, work through some of their, you know, psychological issues and things they might have going on. But we're hopefully to, you know, get them back to where they need to be so they can be that better person for their child. And we have a foster care program as well. So we place, you know, kids from newborn on the way up to teenagers. So. And one of these things you're doing for the ladies is a mom prom. Can you tell us about that? Yes, it's going to be on Friday, April 29th at the R.J. Corman Hangar. Um, it's a wonderful evening. Sorry, Bill, it's only for you know, ladies, so no men. <laughs> but <Okay>. uh, <laughs> it's a night for us to recognize our moms, um, kind of talk about you know how long, how far they've come in the program and what they have going on. We have dinner, we do dancing, we have a photo booth, tons of fun. We have a past resident kind of share her story and where she is today. Uh, but it's just a nice evening for you know girls to get together and have tons of fun. Yeah. So and all the proceeds go to All God's Children. Rhonda, tell us uh, what an event like this you think means to the, the mothers involved, as you said, who are mm -hmm. in that sort of fragile time. Oh, well, I think it's a, a great way for them to see, first off, especially from the past resident, her testimony and realizing that, you know, even though what you're going through now, there's always, you know, the silver lining. And, you know, no matter what's going on, you know, we're there to help you, to make you that better person, um, you know, and to make you be better for your child. And that's what we're, what we're trying to do. So, so how can viewers out there, out there help? Well, first off, you can attend the event. You can order tickets online if you'd like at uh, kyallgodchildren.org. Um, of course, if anybody ever wants to come volunteer or be foster parents, we're always looking for new foster homes and families um, or any types of donations and stuff that we um, get and have out there. So please come out, see us, um, come attend the event. Um, ladies, it doesn't have to be any and all ladies of ages, not just moms and daughters, but aunts, sisters, best friends, anybody and everybody. Love to have you come. All right. So, well, thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. Website up, and folks uh, can uh, search for more info. Thanks Great. for coming. Thank you yeah. all.